Before we begin the tutorial, let's take a look at the components that make up a firework. As we can see from this video, there are two important elements of fireworks. First, the trail of fireworks that shoot up into the sky. Next, the main firework display. Let's begin by creating the fireworks trail. Start by creating a new composition through Composition, New Composition. Then, add a new layer to the scene through Layer, New, Solid. Select the solid layer and apply the particle effect by going to Effect, Simulation, CC Particle World. I prefer to turn off all the visual guides for the particle system, but feel free to leave them on if you prefer. Next, change the particle type to Shaded Sphere. Then, adjust birth size to 0.2 and death size to 0. Birth size refers to the size of the particle when it spawns while depth size refers to the size of the particle when it is spawned. Set max opacity to 100% as we want our particle to be fully opaque. Increase birth rate to 10 to emit more particles. Let's move the particle producer further to the back by modifying the position Z value. Then, set all the radius properties to 0. Under the physics option, Reduce velocity to 0.5 and gravity to 0.1. Then increase the resistance to 1. Now zoom in the timeline by dragging this horizontal bar. We will animate the particle trail by keyframing the producer's Y position. Click on the stopwatch icon to create a keyframe and then move it below the stage. Press the U key to quickly review the keyframe we have added. Then, add another keyframe in the middle of the screen. I am leaving a gap of 10 frames between the keyframes, but you can use any numbers that suit your animation. Using more frames will result in a slower fireworks trail animation. Optionally, we can reduce the longevity value to create a shorter trail length. Finally, we want to stop the particle system when it reaches the center. So, add a keyframe for the birth rate property where the fireworks trail ends. Then, add another keyframe in the next frame and set the birth rate to zero. After making all these adjustments, we will have a firework trail animation that looks like this. Let's rename the layer before we move to the next part of the tutorial. Okay. Now let's animate the main firework display. First, add another solid to the stage. We can reuse the solid from the project library. Let's rename this layer as well. Then, go to Effect, Simulation, and apply CC Particle World Effect to the solid. I will turn off all the visual guide for the particle system. Next, change the particle type to Shaded Sphere. Adjust birth size to 0.2, depth size to 0, and maximum opacity to 100%. Click on the eye icon to turn off the visibility of the trail layer. To animate fireworks explosion, we will keyframe the birth rate value to control the emission of particles. Click on the birth rate stopwatch icon to create the first keyframe with a value of 0. Press the U key to review the keyframe we created. In the next frame, Add another keyframe with a value of 50. Move a few frames forward and add a keyframe with a value of 0. These keyframes will create the main firework animation. To increase the animation speed, go to the physics section. Increase velocity to 15 and resistance to 20. Now the particles are flying off the screen. 
So let's move the producer position Z further behind. Increase longevity to 5 so the particles will last longer. We will also keyframe the gravity property to enhance the animation. Create the first keyframe with a value of 0.1 so the particles are less affected by gravity during the explosion stage. After that, add another keyframe with a bigger value such as 0.8. This will create the effect of particles being dragged down by gravity. Lastly, turn on the visibility for the trail layer and offset the main firework animation to match the firework trail animation. Optionally, we can edit the opacity map to create a flickering particle effect. In this case, I will remove the flickering effect for now. Now, we have a basic fireworks animation set up. Let's improve it by applying a few extra effects. Select the main firework layer, then go to Effect, Time, and apply the Echo effect. Change the Echo time value to negative 0.08. Increase the number of Echoes to 20. And set the Decay to 0.8. This will create a trail effect for all the individual particles. Be cautious not to overdo this step as it may cause lag on older PCs. Next, let's add a flash effect when the firework explodes. First, add another solid to the stage. Then, go to Effect, Generate, and apply the Lens Flare effect. Reposition the flare to the center of the screen. Currently, the lens flare is cropped on the edge. So, go to Effect, Color Correction, and apply the level effect. Adjust the gamma and input black value to reduce the overall brightness. Remember to change the layer blend mode to screen or add as well. Next, we can animate the lens flare by keyframing the blend with original property. The lens flare may still appear a bit sharp. So, soften it by applying a blur filter. True, Effect, Blur and Sharpen, Fastbox Blur. The fade in of the firework particles is a bit slow, so I will further refine the opacity map. Now that we have a complete fireworks animation, let's pre compose all the firework layers. Select all the solid layers, press Ctrl Shift C or go to layer, pre-compose. Now we can easily reuse the fireworks animation we have created earlier. However, there's still one minor issue. All the fireworks are animated exactly the same. To address this, Duplicate the fireworks composition in the project library by pressing Ctrl D. Then, go to the CC particle world settings of the new composition and assign a different value to the random seed property. 
By bonifying the render seed value, we'll create a different looking fireworks effect. These are the basic steps that I use to create fireworks using After Effects. There are still many adjustments that can be made to customize the appearance of the fireworks. If you have any tips on animating fireworks, please share them in the comment section. If you found this video informative and learned something new, please consider liking and subscribing to support the growth of my channel. Until next time, take care.